Stealing a wheelchair, that's about as low as it gets. But what kind of person snatches a wheelchair from a young girl recovering from leg surgery? Nicole Grigg tells us where it was taken and why. It's hard for 12-year-old Aline Yanome to get around. I always have infection in the bone. She just moved to the United States from Africa 10 months ago, so doctors at Dayton Children's Hospital could save her leg after it got infected in Congo. She barely speaks any English. A little bit. <coughs> I speak a little bit. She's now forced to use her crutches because someone stole her wheelchair from Belmont High School. If I don't have a wheelchair, my leg it's, it's going to be swelling. Police say two kids took her wheelchair for a joy ride and left it out on the street. When they found it, all the metal pieces were gone. I should be sit down and put my leg off like that. Her need for a, a wheelchair is very serious. I mean, she is unable to walk. It's a safety issue. Lindsay Shawl is Aline's nurse at Dayton Children's Hospital. She's been dealing with insurance companies to try and get her a new wheelchair. I'm not even quite sure if insurance is going to cover another wheelchair for her. Um, it was out on a rental, but like I said, we are unsure at this point, and it's probably not going to be covered. School in America. Aline now stuck at home because she can't go back to the place she loves until she can find a way to get off her recovering leg. In Dayton, I'm Nicole Grigg. Well, police say the two teens who stole Aline's wheelchair have been identified and will face felony charges. Aline's leg brace is expected to be removed next week, but she will still need a wheelchair to get around.